Hi everyone, it's Dr. Alia for Bio3003, Plant Structure and Function. This video is for Chapter 1, The Plant Cell. So what are cells? Cells are the basic building blocks of all living organisms. Uh, they provide structure, can convert uh, nutrient into energy, and carry out all these specialized functions. Our body as an organism um, actually contains millions, trillions of cells. Um, we have muscle cells that uh, help us to move, and we have uh, stomach cells that help us to digest our food and various other functions. Uh, this would include growth, uh, reproduction, movement, and also response to our environmental changes. Let's look at the major components of a plant cell. So when you say plant cell, of course, there must be a cell wall. Uh, the cell wall is a rigid and thick structure surrounding the cell membrane. Um, it's composed of cellulose and um, is permeable, meaning that substances can go in and out and it provides the structure, the rigid structure, rigid shape of a cell. Next, you would have the cell membrane. So the cell membrane is actually out, the outer layer of a cell and composed of fats and proteins, which is semi-permeable. Inside would be the cytoplasm. It's a jelly-like substance uh, composed mainly of water. And it is the site for cellular activities and contain organelles, uh, food granules, vacuoles, um, so where everything happens. And so next we have the vacuole, which is an organelle. It's uh, an organelle that stores food, um, uh, proteins and uh, various uh, chemicals, uh, sugars, minerals, uh, so basically a storage. Next up we have the mitochondria, uh, which is the site uh, for conversion of nutrients into energy. Next, we have the chloroplast. So the chloroplast is the site for photosynthesis. So you would have the chlorophyll and the enzymes to carry out the photosynthesis. Next, we have the nucleus. So the nucleus is where the DNA or the heredity component of the cell would be stored. And next, we have the ER or endoplastic reticulum. Uh, and then Golgi apparatus, and then vesicle. So those are all components of the plant cell. For our course, we mainly focus on plant cells. So of course, there's the animal cells. So what's the difference? So what's the characteristics of the plant cell? And the plant cell is comparatively more regular in shape because you have that uh, cell wall to keep its rigid shape. So uh, in terms of organelles and structures found inside the animal cell, that would be the same. Uh, but of course, you would have chloroplast uh, for photosynthesis, whilst animal cells do not. And typically, uh, plant cells also have a large central vacuole. The typical plant cell uh, will then be specialized into certain um, specialized plant cells. So I have a couple of examples here. So we have the root hair cell and um, epidermal cells, uh, guard cells where the stomata is, and also the palisade mesophyll cells. So this is a cross section of a leaf, so where you can see the different uh, specialized plant cells. Okay, so how do cells uh, get organized to form an organism? There are several levels to this. So the first level would be the cellular level. You, we have unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms like amoebas and uh, bacteria, um, they can carry out all the, the activities necessary for life and its survival all by itself. But for multicellular organisms, uh, humans and plants, uh, we are composed of a large number of cells. So different types of cells work together to carry out the particular functions in plants. Um, cells with chloroplasts uh, is needed for photosynthesis and strong and rigid cells like cell walls are needed to support the plant body. 
Uh, next level would be the tissue level. So a tissue level is formed when the same type of cells are associated to carry out a particular function. For example, uh, vascular cells, they form to become a vascular tissue. Next level uh, would be the organ level. So an organ level is formed when several different types of tissues are grouped together. Uh, to form a more complicated function. So examples here we have leaf, stem, root, and our re and reproductive uh, reproductive structures. Next level would be the system level. A system is formed when different organs and tissues work together to carry out a particular process. For example, the shoot and root system. And from there. Uh, the combination of that will form an organism. So we're going to continue in the next uh, video. So that's all for today for this video. Bye!